how has this uh, coronavirus lockdown affected um, what you're doing over summer? Like, what you do during the summer? Um, basically, the entire of the summer, um, and most of my time, really, has been spent um, really inside. I got, like, a grandma like who lives with me in my house, so I have to worry about her and her health. So I tend to just, like, try to stay inside as much as I can for the most part. I mean, I've, I've been starting to get out more, and, you know, I mean, I always take the precautions. I always... Uh, I always, I always sanitize after I'm done with some place. I always, you know, <laughs> I always wear yeah. my mask. People, wear your mask, people. Wear your mask. That is important. That is really important. So that, that that's, I mean, so that's a, <laughs> I wish it was a little more complicated than that, but. What have you started doing uh, during quarantine that you haven't done before? Um, I've been getting into cars, actually. I've been getting into a lot. I mean, before I, I, I like cars on, like, surface level. But I've been, like, really getting into, like, cars and, and mechanics of them and stuff. So, uh, although it's it's a slippery slope to get into cars because uh, cars, it's, uh, it's expensive. It's real expensive. Oh, yeah. I've also been uh, like I've been, I've been cleaning around the house more. I feel like cause I just have the time to do it. Like I'm I've been cleaning out my attic to like make it a chill place to hang out. I thought it'd be chill to do that. Mhm. Mm what do you miss doing now that uh, the coronavirus lockdown has started? <sighs> There's just so much. Uh, <laughs> I miss like going. I miss I miss just like going out. You know, I mean, going out more. I miss, I kind of miss going to school a lot because I, I miss, I miss, uh, I miss like seeing people in real life. I, I, what I miss is being able to like talk to someone in a crowded, loud area and not have to like really, really yell it out. Cause like now with the mask, it's like, it's covering like this, this much of your face. So it's like, it, it's hard to talk to like know when somebody's talking like to you or something else. And, yeah, Man. it's 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 real, it's real difficult talking to people with masks on sometimes, especially when you're like ordering food or something. Uh -huh. It's not good. It's a bloodbath. Yeah. <laughs> so, how much longer do you think we're going to be in this lockdown? Honestly, I'm thinking like, t uh, like realistically, I mean, it depends on I guess who gets elected. I don't mean to bring in the politics of the election, but I mean. I think I think Trump will probably have it around, have it like, unlocked on lockdown maybe till next year. Like the beginning of next year, I'm thinking he's gonna just strip everything away. Whether that's good or bad, I can't really speak on. I'm not a scientist. I don't speak. I don't, I don't speak for the scientists. I don't speak uh, science. I don't speak that. Um, science is its whole other language. I think if like Biden gets elected it'll probably be like maybe mid to late next year i'm 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 uh I, i'm not very hopeful for the future i guess <laughs> i don't think we're gonna have this till after december so it's gonna be a a very covid christmas okay well thank you for your time of course i i'm on a uh, me talking about COVID-19 and more on 60 Minutes. More on 60 Minutes or whatever.